On Sunday, I posted a video out of frustration of trying to understand why the national media wasn't covering these floods in Southeast Louisiana that have displaced over 40,000 United States citizens and killed almost a dozen others out of just sheer frustration. The comments on, on the video about people being shocked and in awe about not knowing what's going on aren't what bothered me. It's a sad fact, but they're not the ones that bothered me because you were understandably unaware part of my frustration as well nobody knew what was going on the comments that bothered me were the ones that had the audacity to let words cross their lips or to fix their fingers to type something to the effect of well why are you living there in the first place or after these events why are you choosing to stay there I don't expect you to understand I don't expect you to understand that since our very founding our entire city state everything is plagued with unfortunate circumstances and that we have literally, literally been left with no other alternative through our entire history of having to rise like a phoenix from the ashes and do for ourselves because so many times we have been left out of everything and for you to sit there and say well why do you choose to stay there let me tell you I'd rather stay here than to be where you are because maybe where you're from those type of things are acceptable maybe you could sit back idly by when you see others in need and just choose to do nothing or run away whenever the time gets hard. But let me tell you, here in the South, in Louisiana, this is our city. This is our state. This is our home. This is our family, okay? We don't run away whenever times get rough. We buckle down and we double down and we do whatever we can to assist other people because that's what we do here. Like any family, we might fight and bicker amongst each other and we might have our flaws with crime and our criminal justice system and education and all these other things. But when it comes push to shove, when you look on the TV and you see the National Guard and the first responders out there doing what they can for these people, what you also are going to see and notice is everyday regular people putting their lives on the line, re really ready and willing to give their last full measure of devotion for people not out of a paycheck or duty or an oath that they took, but simply because their conscience tells them that it is the just thing to do. Now, I don't expect you to understand all of these things because like I said, maybe where you're from, it's acceptable, but you want to know why I choose to live here? You want to know why? Because I know that just as much as I would rock behind these people that these people have and will rock behind me because we have been left with no other alternative come hell or high water to rise above. So if you want to run and that's what your conscience tells you that that is what you need to do, then you go ahead and you do that. But let me, let me break this down for you, Floyd Mayweather style. I would rather drown in the bayous of Louisiana alongside any one of my fellow Louisianians to, than to sit in the dry comfort of a community where you live and dare be forced to call you my neighbor. I'd rather die for a cause with dignity than to live with no purpose, with indifference next to people like you. I hope that cleared everything up for you. I'm not going anywhere. This is my city, this is my family, and I will always rock behind them, and we will always do what we need to do to come up, because like I have said, we have been left with no other alternative. We are not going anywhere. This is who we are. We've been plagued since this, by these things ever since we founded Louisiana. We're not going anywhere. Just watch us. We did it once, did it twice. We're gonna do it again with or without the national media coverage. Pay attention, sit back and watch. Game on, checkmate, teacher life. Mwah.